Right. So um, the NDC is preparing for a press briefing and um, you have the shots in your, on your screens currently and we'll, we will be uh, linking up definitely to get uh, the sounds as well to know exactly what uh, their concerns are regarding this press briefing. Obviously, I think this would be press briefing number three since um, the elections and indeed since the coverage. So we will be bringing you all that you need to know um, regarding the press briefing from the NDC, which will be held at the party. And some important constituencies that the NDC has flipped. Since then, and very typical of our opponents, they've held a press conference which during which they sought to pedal falsehood and true dust into the eyes of the general public about the true results relative to this year's elections. And so we have called you here to, first of all, set the record straight relative to the issues they have raised about parliamentary results and whether or not they have parliamentary majority as we speak. Secondly, about whether or not they control the northern part of the country as they claim. Thirdly, whether or not they are leading in the presidential elections as they claim. These are issues that we need to set the record straight. And um, aside that, updates you on more results that have come in that we have collated and how the global figure is looking like, both for parliamentary and presidential. So ladies and gentlemen of the media, I have the honor to invite to the podium our elections director, Honorable Elvis Efri Ankara, to once again address us about these issues. He will first of all set the record straight relative to the claims the MPP have made in the last you know, few hours about the presidential and parliamentary election results and also update you on new results that have come in, both in the parliamentary and also in the presidential election. So let's welcome Honorable Elvis Effie. Thank you very much, Sammy, and uh, greetings to all comrades behind me. And uh, thank you for your endurance. Um, we have started and we'll finish together. So as Sammy said, since our last press briefing, our opponents have made some desperate attempts to throw dust into the eyes of Ghanaians. The first point we want to state clearly, emphatically, and unambiguously is that it is not true that the MPP has majority in Parliament. Currently, we are leading with 140 seats. 40, 140 seats. Parliamentary, seats, parliamentary seats, and I'm going to go into the details pretty soon. It is not true that the MPP is leading in the three northern regions. We won 14 out of 15 in Upper East region. We won 8 out of 11 constituencies in the northern region. We won 9, sorry, sorry. In the, in, the, in, the, in, in the Upper West region. In the Northern region, we won nine out of 18 constituencies. So let me just go into the details and then we'll see. In the Upper West region, we have eight seats. In the Upper East region, we have 14 seats. In the Northeast, we have two. In the Northern region, we have nine. In the Bono region, we have six. In the Hafo region, we have two. In Bono East, we have nine. In the Western region, we have nine. In the Western North region, we have seven. In the Greater Accra region, we have 20. In the Central region, we have 13. In OT region, we have eight. In the Volta region, we have 17. In the Savannah region, we have four. In the Eastern region, we have eight. And in the Ashanti region, we have four. 
That makes it 140 parliamentary majority. And there are still a few ones that are in contention. So we believe that this number is going to appreciate. Now, you need to understand, if you understand electoral politics, that wherever, except in a very few cases, a couple of cases, wherever the parliamentary candidate wins, the presidential candidate also wins. And more often than not, the presidential candidate gets more votes than the parliamentary candidate. So it is absurd for anybody in the face of this, these facts to say that in spite of the fact that we are leading in the parliamentary, we have won regions, constituencies that we've never won before, we have won swing regions, the key swing regions, Greater Accra, Central, the Western Enclave, we have won them and turned them around, seats that we've never won before, as we said earlier. We have flipped around almost 38 seats. So how can anybody say that in, in the face of this they are leading? Again, when it comes to the presidential, Break down for parliamentary okay. Yes. For yes. oh, the names of the presidents. Yes. Okay, okay. So, good, good. So, uh, let me just go to the specific constituencies. Parliamentary seats won by the NDC in the Upper West region. What? Wa East, Wa West, Wa Central, Nadoli Kalio, Sisala West, DBI, Laura. Jirapa, parliamentary seats won in the Upper East Region, Bolgatanga Central, Bolgatanga East, Boku Central, Bongo, Bilsa North, Bilsa South, China Paga, Garu, Nabdam, Tempani, Bongo, Bongo is there, Talensi, Zebila, and Pusiga. Constituencies NDC won in the northeast. We want Bunkrugu and Nalerigu. There is contention over one, but we'll jump that. When it's sorted, we'll come back to it. Parliamentary seats won by the NDC in the northern region. Wulensi, Savelugu, Kumungu, Bandai, Saboba, Tamale South, Tamale Central, Tamale North, San Narigu. Parliamentary seats won by the NDC in Bono, Banda, Doma West, Wenchi, yeah. German North, German South, Time. Constituencies NDC won in the Eastern Region Akwetia, Yilo Krobo, Upper Manya, Lower Manya, Eswe Jamain, Aye Suano, Afram Plains North, and Afram Plains South. Um, Fantiapa, there's some contention. We believe that by noon it will be resolved. Constituencies NDC won in Ahafo. Esutifi South and Esnafo South. Constituencies NDC won in Bono East, Kintampo North, Nkranza South, Nkranza North, Sene East, Sene West, Pru East, Atebubu, Techiman North, and Techiman South. Constituencies NDC won in the Western North region. In the Western region first. Jomoro, Elembele, Evaledra, Pristia Huni Valley, Wasa East, Amefi Central, Amefi East, Amefi West, and Takwa. Constituencies the NDC won in the Western North region. Sefiri also, Awowin, Bia East, Bia West, Bodi, Juaboso, and Shamain. Now, the 21 parliamentary seats in Greater Accra won by the NDC. 20. 20. Ada, Sege, Ningo Pram Pram, Bonkatamanso, Shayo Sudoku, Tema East, Ashiaman, Kruwa, Lejokuku, Odododio Dio, Klote Kole, Ladade Kotopon, Ayawaso East, Ayawaso North, Okaikwe North, Madina, Adenta, Ablekuma Central, Ablekuma South, and Domiambra, Obum. Seats won by the NDC in the central region. Cape Coast North, Cape Coast South, Krifu Etimokwa, Gomwa East, Ewutu Senya West, Gomwa West, Ejumakon, Ekunfi, Asin North, Upper Dencha West, Agona East, 
encomenda a dinner a guafo a brim. Constituencies NDC one in Savannah region. Bole, Yape Kusogu, Salaga South, and Sola Tuna Kalba. Seats the NDC one in the Ashanti region. Aswase, New Edubiase, Edura, and Drobonso. And in Volta region, out of the 18, we lost just one. We won 17 constituencies. So the trajectory is clear. Indeed, based on our figures that we have, we are leading in the uh, Greater Accra region, in the Presidential, we're leading in the Western Enclave, we're leading in the Bono Enclave, and we're confident that by the time we compile the rest of the Presidential candidates, we'll be in pole position to be the ones that will become the President. John Mahama will be the President of the Republic. And because we're already controlling Parliament. Now, we are aware of the tricks the MPP is playing to change results by ordering recounts of ballots at the coalition center, which is illegal. If you want to recount, there's a process that you have to go through. The first recount, you must request for it at the polling station. When that is done, then you request, if you are not satisfied, you have to request for the second coalition at the polling station. But that is done at the coalition center. We've had situations where there were no recounts at all, ab initio, and then they go to the coalition center and they insist on recounts. And by the time those recounts start, then funny things happen. Ballot boxes are swapped. We've had situations where in um, safety, yeah, ballot, where ballot box was swapped. I mean, a few where so many others. So we see that as a strategy. That because they know they are losing, they use their account, and then in the process, they do all kinds of things. That is why we are calling on people to be at the coalition centers, to support our agents. Because sometimes you have only two or three agents there, and they come and mass up with their macho men, beat up our people. So we need the numbers there. There have been shootings at various coalition centers. We need people to be there to ensure that people are not intimidated, bullied, or cheated, because it is very clear that we are on the trajectory of victory. So, again, we, 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 are, we also have intelligence. And again, you, we, you, we have proven to you that any time we say we have intelligence, when we told you that we have intelligence about ballot papers, people doubted it. Yesterday you saw many people were arrested live. We have intelligence that because they know that they are losing, they've dispatched a team to Ashanti region to go and see if they can manipulate the results. Well, we are watching them with eagle eyes. And our people in Ashanti region should rise up and ensure that nothing untoward happened. You recall uh, previous elections, 2008 or so, where very funny things started happening from the Ashanti region. Well, we have our figures, we are monitoring, and we shall ensure that nobody, nobody, nobody will steal the mandates of the people. And it's important that you take note of the various heavyweights of the MPP that are falling. You know, Elizabeth Afolikwe, Minister for Fisheries, gone down. Titus Glover, Deputy Minister for Transportation, gone down. Bernardo Koboy, Deputy Minister of Health, gone down. Boniface Abubakar Sidi, Minister for something, something, I don't remember, gone down. <laughs> presidency or Vice Presidency, I don't know which is which. Yeah, someone. So, it's very clear that indeed defeat is staring them in the face. Now, we also have concerns about the EC themselves, the way they are conducting themselves in this exercise. As we sit here now, we have a team that has been at the EC's coalition center for since yesterday, the, the strong room. As we speak, and I'm speaking with authority, not even one result has gone to the coalition center. True or false? True. Not one. Not one. So they are there. They are waiting. And then they claim they will declare the results in 24 hours. How are you going to declare? It has to go through a process. Even more seriously, Greater Accra and in some regions, they declare results. Our people are at the regional office of the EC now. Not one result. Not one. You can go and check. So how are they declaring the results? Because all the results must come to the regional office for it to be collected. What is going on? We need to know. We need to know what is going on because those results must come to the regional center. They must authenticate, verify, 
before they will be released. How come that results are being released? Not one has gone to the regional office. So we are very, very concerned about that and they need to take action on that and do the right thing. There's a process. You can't just get up and say they should send you results from polling stations or constituencies. It doesn't work like that. You yourself said you're going to do manual collation. So you need to go through that process from the, from the polling station to the constituency and then from the constituency to the region, from the region to the national. Then our people in the strong room can also authenticate before you can come out and tell us anything. So we believe that um, the right thing has to be done. Again, just a while ago, we got information that in Lejokuku, a seat that they've won, um, somebody, they lost, sorry. Somebody, somebody came there with a, 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 a pink sheet, yeah, fresh pink sheet, and he's been arrested and detained by the police. So you see, these are things that they do. So all kinds of manipulations. We've finished the results, certified results have been declared. What are you doing with the pink sheet? So they will come and say, they want recount. Before you realize, then they'll swap. So we are very, very vigilant. Our people should continue to be vigilant, and they should not allow all these shenanigans to, to go on. Um, as I said, we've collected the results, the presidential. Um, for what will interest you is that in Ashanti region, for instance, out of 37 constituencies, out of 47 constituencies, we've collected 37. And so far, John Dramani Mahama is doing over 30%. Now, 30, over 30% in Ashanti, that's unprecedented, is huge. And uh, with over 80% of the constituencies collected in Greater Accra region, JDM has over 56%. So by the time the rest comes, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We have collected over 80% of votes in the Bono and Western Enclave, all those areas. And in all these areas, it is very obvious that our presidential candidate is in pole position to claim a first round victory in this year's election. As we, as we, we, as we, go, as we go along, we'll be giving you more details. We are very responsible people. So we want to ensure that by the time we give you specific details, we know what we are about. We know that it's the EC that has to declare the election. But it's also within our right to update our people about what we have done so far. So you'll be hearing from us in the next few hours. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. I will try and uh, do a quick summary of this very important presentation in the key language because of the account stations here. Because we want everybody watching television and every Ghanaian to have an understanding of the issues we are talking about. And the question for the elections director, Akano. Please, Mayor, can we have some order in the auditorium, please? The said the elections director, Akano. MPP for after your press briefing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Na ya bo ma mani e wo sisa NDC arene hono. Most of friends and trophy in shemu. Na and some wa modi tu biano na do do na no e yung kuntu mpun sem. And uti se uti efie uti na efie na u diare ho because of some MPP for aka minu ya wo hawa kuma because yomo kani nim se. The only can we move against people for me is a bounty on mobility that that. Say at what we are be doing some money no more claims or more than fifty two percent. No more share them. It should let you know that you are not correct. And then nobody should be worried or concerned about figures and people for the above bounty. Ni ni na a fake. And no one other see any election director the abremo no. The di kanya ni no correct say MPP for. Omu controli three of the five northern regions of Ghana. They said Omu kain Omu boa, and by now ni expecti sen kamu sem trofo ni diemu kama fact check se sa sem da da da. Because northern regions na ye five. They said Omu kano. Upper West e eleven constituencies. In prim prim, and this ye lose mumi ensa ya weni mungo pe. In two thousand. And sixteen, yeah, we need Munsia. Into what train I are winning? No, 
It's a significant improvement of our performance in 2016. And what we are winning in a a Easter. A 15 constituencies and a war upper east. In fact, upper west regions and Wabobo and Mesumer Sans Wabobim, it would be Cassem, Senebea, a Beko for me. Eight constituencies are running upper west and you two Mrenia Trisi, a Yawa east, a Yawa west, a Yawa central, Nadoli Kalio constituency, Cesala west, DBI, Laura and a Japa. Upper east, a 15 constituencies. NDC, our name so far confirmed 14. Bakwa Akaye Bindu, you know, results in a young man, we ain't here train. But in print, the only are we name of 14. 14 year Bolega Central, Bolega Central, Bolega Tanga East, Boko Central, Bungo, Busa North, Busa South, Chana Paga, Garu, Nabdam, Timpani, Bongo, Talensi, Zibila, Pusiga, you can confirm. And this year we need. Now just let me enumno akami ansa. Savana omampeni mahama region. The MPP has not won. I have seven constituencies in our Savana. And this year we need Bole. And this year we need Yapi Kusigu. And this year we need Sola. And and this year we need. Salaga South and a solar to Nakaba four. In the end, this will move three. I got two northern region year 18. And this year, when nine MPP ni nine MPP will eight because Bako Zabzugu in Timmy Moboy. The Ayakaya we know and this in Arene. I got three polling stations. Me no over voting. And when the easy for when mean declare, it the only northern region uh, MPP for it me away near the northeast. So my brother that was say oh northern region put yen you control me and say omo boa omo ma waye mshishi akwa. That's number one. Number two, any no crescent MPP for any parliamentary majority. Omo kasa ano na yerese nka mubi bizo muzo omo bo parliamentary seats no ma we neno ni yeni na yemfa check yomo. Because apart from five northern regions, they are Mabubui. Northeast, they are Omarene Yagaba Kubore, Omarene Yuyu, Omarene Chrepone. It is true, Omarene Wale Wale and Semo, and are very confirmed, but they are leading. But there were two, which is Bunkrugu, and the second one being Nalerigu. So what I say. But all they are not on China, where constituencies now are Bubona. Ashanti region, ni ya wami yansan, si se ya wani, asawasi niwe dubi ya si edra, ene um, efija seche, seche afran plains, which is drop on so. Se waba uti region, ni ya wani son, si se ya wani 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 wani. Se waba vuta region, aba akope ne fri yansan, out of 18, hohoe, 17 ni yana ya wani. So we have central region, and here we have nine, four constituencies. In print, print, you have only thirteen. It's in your JBN here. You have only Cape Coast North and South. We have forty more. We have Gomwa is a Wutu Senior West, Gomwa West, Edumako, Aob, Ekunfi, Asen North, Upper Dentral West, Aguna East, and Akiye. You have only thirteen, which is a central being a very important swing region. You have only. We have Greater Accra region. Near our best saying 13. Yes. Near our 13 seats. In print, print, you are winning 20 as in BNU. You are winning Adan, Sege, Ningo, Pram, Pram, Kung, Pung, Katamanso, Shai, Osudoku, Tema East, Ashama, Kruo, Lejo Kuku, Odododio, Dio, Clote, Kole, Lada, Dikotopon, Ayawaso East, Ayawaso North, I. I, okay, Queen of Madina, Adenta, Ablikuma Central, Ablikuma South, and Adomi Abraubum. 20. Okay, ka, constituencies here are here. Bono, we had only one, Banda. I'm going to No, my year 12 over 12. And then Bono, you're not here. Out of 12, you're not match any 6 6. In terms of parliamentary, you're in a German South. You're in a German North. 
ya wene wenchi, ya wene doma west, ya wene time. It will keep going. We have won six in Bono. I have for you two now. You won. We've retained it. As soon as for south, as we tiffy south. We call Bono Easter. We've won nine. And we can go on and on. The election director can say, okay, constituencies are parliamentary, no, you are including Western region, I are winning all that men fee me and son, a village, a lembele. I mean, we are winning in total nine constituencies. Look at Kanin in Abumwa. And this year, we are winning 146 out of 275. MPP were 134. And an independent candidate for men are all one. So Enya no Kresa, they have majority parliamentary seats. Enya no Kresa. The third important thing is a presidential resource. Because say MPP for Abeka say, oh, I'm more in a presidential resource. Now watch TV so so a coalition TV stations ni bi yano. Emma, I'm say I'm a penny ku fuadu in leading. It's the bi mujiadi. And and no no na ebua I'm more more we are benimu. It is not true. Collation, we are collating presidential results from 275 constituencies. The TV station, we are collating 100 constituencies. Now we'll be leading two percentage points. And quite the Donald Trump, a chita for you in the US, and he'll be starting jubilee. Because there be a constituencies are collating. Don't want to hear MPP strongholds. Until you see the overall results, until we hit 250 constituencies, 260 constituencies, you know. On je a dia ka kra few constituency being as we be away ne. Te said here on abo every say free ankra kan and ye die ye ti ya re pa ba ko ndi say higher ya sentimentum. 2016 ya lu zu ya ye rene be 23% pe. Any time ya rene aba wo gana ha Ashanti region ya ya de 26% and above. Te na empire ya bo nyina no. But the na ye hu we have done far better than what we even, uh, you know, expected. In the in Ashanti region, out of 47, I have called it, Out of the 47 constituencies, I have called it 37. And they said, you can you know, John Mahama, in the presidential, over 30%. 30%, I got just 10 constituencies. Voter region, NDC's gap, as compared to 2016, I have Uti region across from my home, my home be Upper west, John Mahama, my across from my home be brave. Upper east, the same thing. Even in northern region, I lose parliamentary seats. John Mahama is winning presidential. Where we are losing parliamentary, like Mion, he's winning presidential. And so, if you look at the parliamentary seats, one forty nine, I are winning now. A mube ten percent he been a scared and blouse. In a half for Bono. Jodwana, John Mahama is performing better than our parliamentary candidates. Ne mado so chen ye peace is ni bibiri. And koleshi na ye koleti ni bibiri ya druno. John Dramani Mahama clearly no will have a resounding victory in these elections. Like our election director said. So, Emma will be na dao. Based on TV, so figures ka kreb ya 100 constituencies. Many of the TV station will cry out 200 constituencies, and I will be a yibi, and I 150. No, MPP for the bedroom, my name is Omae, 80 percent. Now, more demo by Akohe, maybe I'll try more demo by Akohe figures. No, I want to find out. They said they will send the media, you know, houses there to see their collation and their figures. Kovi TV, I'm going to walk Akohe, I'm going to move figures. No, it's a Nigerian man, I say, a Muslim can't be BS anyhow. And the reason why. We are not giving presidential, John Mahama, because with presidential, the whole country is one constituency. Exactly. And so you need to get the results up to a certain point and send out the figure about one thing. And yes, you are being reckless and irresponsible. And that is why uh, we give you updates like it happens all across the world. In the U.S. elections, the Democrats did it, the Republicans did it. We are giving you such updates. When we have something concrete, by the time we cross 250 constituencies, we will let you know what the figures are and what the projections are, even as we wait for the official declaration. In the presidential elections, John Mahama is leading. Apart from Ashanti region, why are the greater Accra, which is the most populous, greater Accra, four doors to change Ashanti region, almost 3.4 million. 
Ashanti is just about 3 million. Greater Accra, John Mahama is winning with over 55%. Bono Enclave, Bono East Ahafo, and Bono itself, John Mahama is winning with nothing less than 51%. Per 80% of the provisional resource are Yakuliti. Western region, Yakuliti, about 80% of presidential, John Mahama is leading. Now, you need fear in Ghana politics. That is the way we say party be a battle. Now, we are in Bono Ahafo region, swing and cliff. We are in Western and Western North put together. Because Western and Western North used to be 26 constituencies. In Western, we have nine constituencies, including Takwa. In Western North, we have seven. Seven plus nine is 16 out of 26. We've won Western. In Bono East, we have nine. In Bono, we have six. In half, we have two. I have 17 out of Bono, 29. We have won Bono. John Mahama Makra does return your parliamentary candidates. In Greater Accra, I have swing most populous. John Mahama Irene with over 40, uh, 55% and above. With about 80% of presidential results collated. The band will be away in this important and central region. Region here was just four seats. John Mahama has so far won. And the NDC, parliamentary, are winning 13. In all the 13, apart from a Juma Kong, in all, in fact, in all the 13, President Mahama won. And in about 90% of the 13, name Mado Suchen parliamentary candidates. No? In central region. I mean, you have to have a look at the are in the central, are in the greater Accra, are in the western, are in the Bono, or more parliamentary seats. We say, are in the Aba, are in the Aba, so I wish them. And I offer play to the Ashanti region. And you have to say, it is not true. And you need to say, what the MPP for a poor man born say, you can't hear the pain. Now, Ghana for you, you know, and this is 42, you are dying MPP for you, you know, you are dying this is not the first time almost started. Almost started yache. Ye betwa ba ye kan bibri na mu bibri enyi ni. Ye start ye na ba to no mo hu hu adanse. Hwe ballot papers en ko security materials a. Ya chi MPP for say kita wo mo. Hwe asawase. Hwe circle. Hwe adwoso. Ballot papers ni pa ba ko kita 200. Ninina kita easy official stamp. Hadiwe, in which country can this happen? In which country? And yet your father say normal. When your normal electoral infractions, where your fraud, this is what is called electoral fraud. This is what is happening. Share ballot staff your my year. Share ballot national mean fee west. Any other areas or my attempt to so mobe. Even baby are NDC, ya winning. Ya winning a win, no matter by a year recounting. When they know, I'm not coalitions, I'm quack, quack, quack. Oh, Munim said, they said the honorable Elvis Kayan. Coalition center, ya are recounting, ya are real coalition. Ya are recounting. On why you're young, for the guys, I won't pray recounting now. No matter how fast soldier for, we don't know whether they are even genuine military men. Ablekuma South, Nipa send your kumomo. Your kum nipa me and son. The media is not talking about about it. Oh no, you are coming, Nipasen. About two. Kaswa Nipasen, no more boom to a pre problem. It is because we are focused on our victory. That is why we are not being distracted by these things. But MPP for the Omu Yenina resource are bad that the Oma Lusu or more co. They said the Omu Yen Lejukuki. Doctor Koboy, what Lusu? I've heard the work of a pink sheets and the pink sheets when you are we told you so. ECG means I'm MPP for pink sheets. We are more ballot papers. It is the only one last minute. You know, more person will be abandoning. Baby, I have a bubble of berry. More person will swap up pink sheets. More person will see some ballot boxes. No ballot papers. Especially Greater Accra, Central, and in particular Ashanti region. And until the Honourable Elvis Free Ankara says, "Ye ni na ye ma ye ni na ho," we should have found more sentimental to draw bonso. Let us protect our victory. And so, this last minute, you know, let's not allow anybody to steal the vote. 
there e was a mo bia wu sam pp for person mo wi abanim no is a final thing honorable elvis free and cross said i didn't see any ever to aba na easy for say ye to aba ni wi 24 hours to mo be declare ye ka tro mo say any possible mo say we possible o mo system sir ye to aba ni wi ya results ne be ba yira 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 mi nua ya to aba wi 7 december twem and na ye 8 december o mo ma ye invitation say ye mra strong room for coalition, 8 p.m. And ra, Mr. Martin, me 8 p.m. Your representatives are all since 8 p.m. And ra, not even one constituency resource number. Why? Is it because constituency resource we are ready? Is that what they are saying? TV stations resources now we call it in a resource bank. Some are. Oh, as usual. Yes, yes, yes. But can you can you still hear me? Good. Hey, get him to put on the generator. Get him to put on the generator. Some two. The people say they stop. We are trying to get our generator on, so don't worry. We will, we will, we will uh, get back to you very soon. Yes, we are putting on our generator, so. Yeah, thank you. Hello? Kelvin, give me sound. Internet ready so that we can wrap up. You can get your cameras and your uh, internet ready so that we can wrap up. Please, are we all ready now? Thank you very much for your patience. Please, are we all ready now? Is the MPP for we No more person will be a Benimuno. Aye, the delayed coalition in the strong room because parliamentary and presidential results be braba. Presidential, no, you are certified as we speak. You declare no constituency coalition center. We are my agents, the candidates, as in sign. I didn't know even regional coalition rooms. I didn't see any sad results on the Biama strong room. I didn't see Why? Why are they holding on to the results? They are holding on to the results because someone will say,
They are holding on to the results because they know results no enku ye ma omo. Inti ye ma MP before time no mo fancy sense sa results. The omo ya na bleku ma central ye bo we tuo MP wa lusu sign wa semen sign le joku ku wa lusu oko boy semi lusu ye ni akofa pink she se free baby abba the omo ya ne takwa the omo ya no drobonso the omo ya ni so many parts of the country ni na ano. A e last minute shenanigans be your mother's or more. You we are benim. And we are telling you, Mensa, even though your 24 hours cannot work, at least, or China be a year declaration of the results. And unty results now, you are certifying. You are starting to call it. You are starting to start call it in the EC strong room, MPP4 or NDC4. It's a press conference, be rebellion now to be trapped. You are inside one year trap. Is the coalition I'm on? I read the only the presidential, any the only the parliamentary. It will it will bring down tensions because the reason why we've had to do most of these engagements is that now the EC is not providing any leadership. They are not doing any coalition, either at the regional level or at the national level. And on my jai, I'm a MPP for a year in Titira Sem, a year in Semone, a person more decent resource in favor or more at this time. But they will fail because they cannot change the will of the people of Ghana. And they cannot change the will of God. We don't want to push anybody into any early celebration. Because yeah. we will see most of the results, presidential and parliamentary, on our TV screens. No be on the smoothness level. And we see we are on course. The coalition be a course. We have 140 parliamentary seats safe and secured. There are two or three seats that we are still disputing and battling. And you say nyame boya ba kwa na me nubi kura bit me dan aba be ka ho. Presidential so be be e de maye no ya ya de kama Ashanti region. It looks like our worst case scenario will be, will be around minimum, minimum 28, 29 percent with the trend because so far the AI no bro 80 percent and we are around 30 percent. Greater Accra, minimum 53 percent, 54 percent. Central region presidential, Yaya 80, John Mahama is winning 80 percent. Bono, Yaya about 80 percent, John Mahama is leading. And so we are confident. Of a resounding victory in both the presidential and the parliamentary primaries. Yenina Yenu Musio and Train Ope. Yenina Yen Fee and Ni. Baby, our problems will be a yam moi. Omo Yen Yama Bibri. Let us be brave and let us be vigilant and let us secure the victory. They will come and do press conferences. They will lie. They will release infographics with fake results, fake percentages. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, they will do all that. But don't take them seriously. And don't be worried. Because the true results are equality in the EC's strong room. Na omejina so the declaration. On this note, um yeah, deputy. Campaigns, uh, campaign manager, and a deputy general secretary will be big a crabia or beca. Now, okay, we are my senior brother, Honorable Fifi Kwete, will also share with us a few words before we wrap it up. Thank you very much. So, uh, let's have it. Okay, so um, I'm going to do English and um, I'll try and do a translation of what I'm going to say. As the earlier speakers have mentioned, we are actually in a very poor position to secure a resounding first round victory. And the MPP knows that very well. Because of that, they have put some schemes in place from yesterday to intimidate our people at the coalition centers, to change pink sheets, to change the results, 
and turn the verdict of the people. One very important incident happened in Ablekuma Central. I'm sure you are aware that this year we have won the Ablekuma Central seat after we lost the seat in 2016. Now, the Ablekuma Central seat is a very unique one when it comes to Greater Accra. Having realized that they have lost the seat, they sent some armed military men to the coalition center, fired some shots. The shots hit two gentlemen. The reports we are picking is that one of them was not able to make it. As we speak, we are unable to identify the military men who went on that sporadic shooting at the coalition center. And guess what? The shooting was done at the police church within the police barracks where the coalition center is situated. We think this is very problematic. This raises a lot of security concerns and this shows amply that President Akufuado clearly is not committed to his claim that he is ready to be peaceful in this election. As if that was not enough, when the military men left, that bizarre situation, which reports is indicating has caused an individual's life, a bodyguard of a deputy campaign manager of the MPP, Lord Kombe, one gentleman named Kola also went to the coalition center with a sidearm, went on a, sp a shooting spree, sporadic gunshots, got four EC officials, two police officers, and two young men. That gentleman subsequently, according to the police command, have arrested, has been arrested. Now, what we want to send, the message we want to send to the IGP is that we are going to follow this particular matter in detail, especially as it has to do with the shooting of police officers who are on duty to protect life and property. This gentleman is known. This gentleman is known by everybody in that community. He is known to be a bodyguard of Lord Comey who is a director of operations at the presidency, who we all know coordinates their vigilante groups. And so we are going to follow this matter. The indication we got this morning was that they were making arrangements to release that gentleman. We are sending a note of caution to the IGP. Our eyes are wide open. And we are going to follow every action that they take in respect of this matter. Just as we speak, another armed men have been sent to Budumburam, the coalition center for Gumwa East, a seat that we have won. Is it not Gumwa East? Yes. A seat that we have won. We have won the parliamentary. After three elections, we have never won that seat. Now, what they are doing is trying to change the pink sheets through the use of force, brute force, weapons, guns. Are we in an election period or we are going to war? Look at what happened to our MP of Ododododo, Neil Ante Van der Poy. As we speak, the Ghana police service have not been able to explain why they arrested our MP in that manner. I am sure you are all aware that there is a law in this country that immunes uh, uh, members of parliament from arrest. What procedure did they use to arrest him? We saw the live footages. Rambo-style arrest for absolutely no reason. They have not been able to explain that to us. They arrested additional 50 young men. And all of them were pulling agents. They were carrying their pink sheets. The electoral commission was waiting for them at the coalition center. They arrested them with their pink sheets. What explains that? What is the reason? Why are we drawing this country on this path? I thought we just signed a peace pact. And President Akufuadu was a party to it. And he pledged in front of all Ghanaians that he will abide by the peace pact. So what has happened to the peace pact? It is important that we ask these questions. But let's tell them that irrespective of whatever they do, the people of this country 
have spoken. Their people have resolved. President John Dramani Mahama has been chosen in heaven and on earth. No amount of intimidation, no amount of shooting, no amount of changing of pink sheets, no amount of tactical delays, no amount of cutting of systems, jamming of networks will change the very important will of the people. Let me do a key version of what I've said. Niaya can I say? Ya share your resource now, ya can't boom now. Baby, ya end this in Janano. Yen sir can kunim dear Cassia Pan and Yankopon, I say a bossy and Sabacano. Nelson, no, and near my bacumi and nubi cosso. I said, ya can't the dancer now about one in Sassiano. Or my own margin say, well, more fast aquatic one as no more dear Daniel about one any. Now, Rinra Ebesine. Oma ye niema bebre. Ye bubo consensus na ye wini no. Parliamentary ye wini 140. Nanso no ebi wo hono ma wo mo challenge. Sine West enra wo mu mubu ballot papers na calculation center no. Ena macho me bi best na che ballot box no. Police for ena omo eni ye din na komo de ballot box ne ko ye. Police for ni saka ballot box no ene me no kasai. Wa muji na wase ballot box na ebe sinachi ya no mpne ma ye nkain. So that is also a problem ama sa constituency ni hodi. Apart from eno no, wa matu emranti ya ne mamba webi ya gu, emua, wa muti nyambra sem ni uruka sem. Na ebi ene si wa ablu kuma sentre ena. A e soja fuo biya, ye suspecti kwa so mwenye soja fuo. Eni ya police fuo. Eko coalition center. A go to two two. A camrantie mi nu. A two no mo two ne kane ne camrantie mi nu. Ya tse se ba ko kra ne huwa ko ke biema. I say nyango po wa tun safre no. A no e chino. Wa mo sa asma brantie biya. Oye director of operations. Our flagstaff house. A sa asu ye deputy campaign manager. A mo ku fwa do campaign. Oru a lot come a bodyguard. Your friend Kola. Echo collation center ho. Echo to two two. Yes, four nine police for me, you know, and I'm ranting me, you know, it won't account. Yet, this a police for a bombarding a tar now, Momo Sakano. Ama Wako Kai Jemu. Na near ye catch your IG penise, ye humbi. Enra, I'm ranting a bear said, Yasa. I yet your moves, whom I no more create two near Kodia. Your mother call you Obi and him, and did they hear back? And the police for no jail no order from above. Police for no jail ni pay the asano. I'm a man I'm free. And your mother too call you. Eko di nyambra sem kraka hon. Na sa branche kula ya ya chino i. Ya the message ma IGP. Se ye ni na ya di ni be di chiri. Ya unse sa sem ni si ya ni mi di afwa na mu nse dan kan ni be bi bi asa. And who be in your same with you when you be the HD? Near you be demand justice. You be demand the say. You be ye edim yamrano, a be ye juma a woman muha. Because so pass me ye na unye per perio. One for justice are near juma. Then you undermine Sasum ye na was open. Ain't you no yen you need ye and you be the HD IGP? Says our brantiano, so ye lord call me bodyguard, so ye den yo. SM Rano. And no any now and no codan chaya and ran you a bit so see what do you do? I a member of parliament Womu Eko Swano in a rambo star time I equa cochia tie you cran yes an om cochia tie. What was the crime? Money man why was any hotel momu to tia gas guanomo and man a busia for no mu choki. The poorly agents, best of fifty, ya chomo, I'm a pink sheet, nibi cra, and no pay, ya titimuni, ya say, be, ya umbe, be omodiafa. Chess a more fuck, but you could be also, Eddie, we are about to honor. And no pay ya tia ya, go moist, 
one of the seats I have in it. Yet say, "O masuma, sa embranti, sa embranti ya omu wa vigilante groups wimu. Any akodi any two, any a calculation center ho. Ah, we mu di nyambra sem e tu tu tu. We mu di confusion ba ho. Se di ebe ya we mu be fa kweti kwaso na omotimi asesa abatu ano. Na we any yejina swa kase." Se president a kufwa do so pu. So on pu. Se security agencies, IGP in them pound for. So on pu. So on pu. Electoral commission. So on pu. So on pu. Nyan kupon. Esra president Mahama. Se about to we. E ye nedia. We be the president. E biem. Ami aswe ni in 7th of January. E ti no. Nyenti a ye kan se mwe nyi na ane se. Yen yina so ye be fi ye ni ni amu ye ni ada ho ni edi ye ni edi insemnechi collection centers wadi ye wamu po wamu po ye be da ho enti party fu a wamu tiye me se yen kain last ballot a ye uye ye wu consequence wu yen declare presidency a yen fri ho citizens vigilance e wun yin ya yen yina yen fi ye ni ndi ye chiri se di ye be ya wu bi ba no bedi nyamra se ma yen ya do duwa no Yen na tumi ni wo yen sem dudu omu tumi ewo mu wo a obeba hono mu ni se ye do so a ye betimi a stop o enti we eni nsemfu a me pese me ne mo che me da ma se yeah thank you very much uh, ladies and gentlemen of the media and uh, through you to the whole country to First and foremost, give assurance to all the millions of uh, Ghanaians out there who have uh, exercised their mandate and uh, clearly shown that they want the change that we have had over the last four years to be changed. And that actually would be marking the first time in the history of this country that uh, a president has won a mandate and I've seen such a massive, massive repudiation of his mandate within four years. Never happened. Every president, first, I mean, what you call, you win your mandate, uh, especially if a political party has just won power after four years, you invariably do better. That really is what it is. So in 2008, NDC won. In 2012, we did better. In 2001, 2001, President Kufo won. 2004, he did better. And that's always been the case. But this will be the first time in our history that a president has won a mandate with his party, and then within four years, there is such a massive repudiation of his mandate. Now, we know this president, and we know this party. Why? Because we tasted exactly what he tried to do in the year 2008. Those of us who were in the strong room knew exactly the game, the trick, the shenanigan they tried to play. And we want to send a warning and a notice that you dare not try those schemes again this time. It's not going to happen. The typical game they do is this. Typically, they know that things are not well. They go and make an arrangement with the EC. And then the EC will do some shenanigan and hide some of the results. And then when last minute they see that things are not going well, then they try to literally change the results. In 2008, the sad part was that a lot of the media, you, who declared some of those results, results that already had been declared in the strong room of the Electoral Commission, and you, the media, covered it. When the key moment came and MPP started doing their shenanigans with connivance with people in the Ashanti Regional Stronghold in Kumasi and the strong room, many of you in the media pretended you were not aware. I can even mention some of those people who were involved. Kojo Ponkruma was one of those people who then was in joy. Little did we know that he was actually doing those things because he had an agenda for tomorrow. So please, we ask you, the media, as well, to be vigilant. This time around, don't pretend you have not heard the result. When the moment comes and MPP start to try to change things again, don't pretend you have not seen or you have not heard. Uh, nobody has been able to win election in this country without having won Greater Accra, having won Central Region, having won the Western Enclave, and have been able to do very well in Brongahafo. 
MPP clearly has not won Greater Accra. Clearly is not winning Central Region. Clearly is not winning the Western Enclave. Clearly is not performing greatly in the Brongahavo Enclave. Now that alone should tell you that it is already a done deal. The we. So please, I mean, forget about all the things that they are throwing about, trying to confuse people and to discourage people. The numbers, we have them. And we are going to ensure that those numbers clearly are declared. And nobody is going to change it. No amount of intimidation to try to see whether they can change pink sheet is not happening. It's not happening. Like our national anthem says, we are going to what? Be bold to make, make sure that every oppressor's rule will be resisted. And we are not going to allow any oppressor to change the will and the mandate of the people. So this is simply to give you an assurance that the will of the people will be made manifest. And the people have already spoken in very clear terms. And Greater Accra has sounded the notice. Central Region has sounded the notice. The Western Enclave is sounding in. The Brongafu areas are sounding in. And those four swing regions always determine where it is going. So please, hold the faith. Have confidence. Don't be moved at all by any of the shenanigans, the games they are playing, because none of those games is changing the will of the people. The will of the people is certainly going to be manifest. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, uh, thank you very much, Honorable Fifi Kweti. Thank you, Peter Tukono. And thank you, uh, our elections director, Honorable Elvis Efri Ankra. And we're also joined by a very senior comrade, um, my uncle. We all call him uncle because he's called Ofayao, former national organizer of the NDCs. Yeah. And uh, our deputy elections director, Mr. Mate, who is supposed to be in the strong room, um, has also joined us here because there is nothing in the strong room to call it. That is a tragedy we have on our hands. But let's keep hopes alive. Let's be cheerful. And above all, Let's be vigilant, let's be bold, and ensure that the right things are done. All ballots collated, results declared, and a winner announced before we commence the celebration. We thank you very much for coming. If there is any need for us to address you again, we shall knock on your doors again. Thank you very much for coming. We appreciate you. I ain't good man. I'm an overcomer.